Welcome to my views and new views. On Saturday, Gondar Brigade was formed or announcement was made uh, about formation of this uh, Amhara Fano Militia Group. I shared this new story with you in the last video. We discussed about uh, the relation of this group with the mass offense. We talked about uh, likely relation of this group with uh, APF, Amhara People's Front, led by Skandar Naga. APF has released a statement about Gondar Brigade. What is APF saying? Are all these different uh, Amhara Fano groups on the same page? Secondly, a rally is due to be held in coming hours in Addis Ababa and reportedly in parts of Oromia. Preparations are underway. We could see a large scale rally in Addis Ababa. Uh, by the way, on Friday, a Muslim protest was not allowed to happen. If a rally is held in coming hours, which is expected, what sort of message it would send to Muslim community? And thirdly, we would say, Dandia, a member of parliament from the Oromo region of Ethiopia, spoke a few hours ago about demolitions in Shagar city. He criticized his government, Oromia regional government. What did he say? Firstly, we were the Gondar Brigade was established today, which is uh, a Fano faction comprising uh, different Fano fighters reportedly from different parts of Ethiopia. Uh, Massafint was not there when uh, announcement was made about formation of uh, uh, Gondar Brigade. We don't know who is heading this brigade. Is it under Massafint? Is it a separate? Uh, Fano group in Gondar. Where is it based? Is it based in North Gondar, South Gondar? We don't know. The pictures have been shared. What is Massafin's response to the formation of a Gondar Brigade? What is Skandar Naga's response to uh, Fano Brigade's formation? APF has released a statement through its social media page. APF, Amhara, People's Front established a few days ago, announced the formation of this uh, group by Skandar Naga himself. Skandar Naga is leading it and uh, David uh, Volde Georgius is uh, Foreign Relations Head of APF. APF is mainly based in Goja. APF welcomed formation of Gondar Brigade through a social media post. APF says, Amhara Fano Unity is working in Gondar. And today, a uh, Fano Brigade was established. APF is saying that uh, in Gondar, all Fano factions are united under Amhara Fano Unity. And Gondar Brigade is part of this uh, uh, Fano set up in Gondar. Secondly, APF uh, said that there was need to organize Amhara people. So it seems that both APF of Skandar Naga and uh, Gondar Brigade are on the same page. No differences. Is it a deliberate strategy of Amhara uh, armed groups to remain independent from each other because uh, if they are under one command it would be difficult for them to survive maybe. So they have decided to work independently though uh, at some level they could be in touch as well. Uh, it's difficult to say, I think. I think uh, uh, if they are working in different regions, they could be uh, having different agendas as well. What is their agenda? 
what is uh, Shoa Afano's agenda? What is uh, Skandar Naga's agenda? And if government decides to talk to uh, Afano factions, who will represent? Uh, can Blatish Shigao Mirabodajo represent foreign faction because they are accused in Girmashtila assassination? Can Skandar Naga lead them? Or can Masafin? Masafin was being chased by security forces a few days ago, uh, but he managed to survive. So, who will represent all these foreign factions if there is dialogue between? these Amhara region-based groups and Ethiopian government. There could come a time in future. Uh, like we are seeing that uh, OLA talked to the government. OLA was represented by some people from diaspora. Who will represent these foreign factions? I think this uh, Amhara resistance is in its initial phase. Resistance is trying to organize itself. Gradually, I think, we will see uh, emergence of uh, some leaders who lead this resistance movement against the government. Secondly, a rally is being planned for Sunday. In coming hours, we could see a big demonstration in Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital and in parts of Oromia too. Mobilization is underway. People are being approached by government officials. They should attend uh, Sunday's rally. LED to be held in support of Ethiopian National Defense Force and Ethiopian government, reportedly. Uh, by the way, Sunday is 28th of May. When TPLA was in power, 28th of May was celebrated as day of uh, removal, last day of the government. So on that day, people have used to organize uh, gatherings, programs to commemorate the end of the government. Now on 28th of May, we are seeing a demonstration in support of Ethiopian army, Ethiopian government, it seems. And if a rally is held in Addis Ababa, uh, especially in Addis Ababa, what sort of message uh, would it send to Muslim community? Because on Friday, they were not Muslims were not allowed to take out a peaceful rally. Rally was uh, stopped. Security forces fired tear gas. Security forces fired live bullets at the people. Three casualties are being confirmed. Islamic Affairs Supreme Council held a meeting today, issued, I think, uh, uh, eight-point statement condemning uh, the incident uh, of uh, Friday. So, while Muslims were not allowed to protest in Addis Ababa on Friday, government is asking the people to join Sunday's uh, rally after a few hours. Let's see what happens. Uh, but if this rally is held, it would be uh, a bad message for the Muslims so that uh, they are not allowed to protest. The government can organize protests whenever it wants to organize a protest. Lastly, viewers, uh, Taya Dandia is a member of parliament of uh, House of uh, Representatives. So he is from the Oromo region of Ethiopia, very vocal, very critical of Romia. Regions President Shimada Sabdigisa, uh, Tadendia, and Hangas Ibrahim are staunch critics of uh, Shimada Sabdigisa, Oromia government. Tadendia uh, today criticized demolition of houses, churches, mosques in Shagar city. We are seeing that Shagar city uh, demolitions in Shagar city are becoming a serious issue. Orthodox Church issued a statement a few days ago saying that uh, churches had been demolished in Shagar city and the Muslims protested on Friday condemning demolition of mosques in uh, Shagar city. People's houses are being demolished too, they are being forced, uh, uh, they, are, they have to leave their areas of residence uh, and now they are entering Amhari in some cases. Now, then they are today condemned demolition of houses, uh, 
and uh, religious places. He said that uh, under the guise of law enforcement operation, uh, people are targeted, sects are being targeted. It should stop. He condemned the demolitions ongoing in Shagar city. If you remember, a few days ago, he condemned Rome regional government's announcement to build regional palace in Addis Ababa. Romeo government signed uh, an agreement with the Chinese company and it was made public a few days ago. Uh, and uh, millions of birds will be spent on the construction of this palace in Addis Ababa. The Adhandia opposed that project. And today he opposed the demolition of houses, mosques, churches in Shagar city. Government will have, uh, Romanian government, which is constructing Shagar city, it will have to review its uh, plans, its activities regarding demolition because it's turning into a serious issue. Maybe the federal government will have to in intervene because uh, this issue is uh, causing hatred for federal government. Uh, it could fuel ethnic conflicts because people uh, whose houses are being demolished, they say that on the basis of ethnicity, they are being singled out and their houses are being demolished. So someone should intervene, I think, and federal government should intervene to resolve the issue what is happening in Shagar city. Thank you for watching.